Okay, one of the questions that we are asked frequently is how to clean your Atomic and how to look after it. So this is a short guide on cleaning and maintaining your Atomic. There are several different types of issues you might come across. Let's start first with the enameled Atomics. This Atomic, you'll see, this enamel scratches very easy. This is, the Atomic's actually brand new, it's never been used, so we're not going to bother too much about cleaning it. If you were to sand this enamel off with a little hand sander, this Atomic would actually end up looking just like this one here. I have done that on occasion, so if you ever find a really battered brown or red Atomic, you can actually sand the enamel off and turn it into an aluminium one quite easily. If you're very lucky, you'll find yourself with a beautiful Sorrentina green Bakelite in mint condition like this. This is about as good as they come on an Atomic. This again is brand new, it's only ever been used once or twice and most of the scuffs you'll just be able to polish out either by spitting on there or just using a little bit of water. One thing you must never be tempted to do is use something like wire wool. You'll just scratch the Atomic. The only way you'll get those scratches out is to polish it. Um, so once again, La Sorrentina doesn't actually need cleaning because it's brand new, so we can put that to one side. The other type of Atomic you're likely to come across is a dull grey one. Here's two Atomics here. This one's relatively, it's not new, but um, relatively shiny, whereas this one is dull grey. Now some people actually like that dull grey look. Some people like to polish them. You can give this to a polisher or polish it up yourself and and end up with a very, very shiny atomic. Personally, I wouldn't do that. If you've got a polishing um, wheel or a professional polisher, wonderful. If not, you can try using something like brass hair. I'm just going to see if I can do this one-handedly, just to demonstrate what will happen if you use something like brass hair. So, I don't know if you'll be able to see this in this light. But the dulling of the aluminium is actually quite, it's quite um, natural to happen. I think you can probably see that in this slide. But if you were to carefully polish your um, atomic with something like Brasso or a very mild abrasive, you would get rid of that dullness. You wouldn't quite get to the shine you would get if you gave it to a professional. But it's a start. Now. Once again, one thing never to be tempted to do is to tamper with this bung here. However tempting it may be to take that out, my advice would be don't bother unless you've got some kind of leak and I've never yet come across an atomic with a leak. If for some reason you're absolutely desperate to get that out, you can go along to a DIY store in the UK, B&Q, something like that, and just buy a steel rod that fits in exactly in there. But once you do that, you're very likely to break the seal, so my advice would be don't even bother. Um, okay, 